In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a programming problem to find longest increasing subarray. So the problem statement is given an unsorted array of integers. Find the length of longest increasing subarray. So if you see uh, our first example in which the length of longest increasing subarray is 3. So there are multiple subarrays we can form here. One subarray is uh, let's say it is 1 2 6 another sub array is 2 6 and another sub array is 0 7 so all of them are valid sub arrays but the length of the longest increasing sub array is 3 so this one is our output so here we output 3 now let's uh, see our next example in which uh, the length of the longest increasing sub array is 3 again either this sub array or this sub array we can consider and in this case also we have multiple uh, sub array one sub array is this one one nine another sub array is this one and another sub array is this one so the length of longest increasing sub array is 3 so this is the problem statement and let's discuss its solution in this tutorial i am going to discuss a very simple approach to solve this problem in o n time complexity and by using constant space so we need to find the longest increasing sub array so what are the things we need to take care of it so we need to keep track of the maximum length found after each step and we need to keep track of the length we have traversed so let's see uh, uh, through uh, an example so now suppose we have to find the longest increasing sub array in in this array so let's if i'm traversing this array so what i need to take care of it so now let's say i i'm i start traversing an array from this index index one so if i compare this number with previous number and if the number present at the current index is greater than the previous index then i increment the count and also at each step I need to uh, update the max length so let's dry run this code so now if you see I start traversing an array from index 1 and here is the condition if the value present at current index is greater than the value present at the previous index then increment the value of uh, this variable so now suppose the current value of uh, this variable is 2 and the max length here is also updated to 2 now we move to the next index after uh, going through this step then uh, in the next uh, index the value present is 6 which is greater than the value present at previous index so this value is incremented and uh, the new value is 3 and we also update the max length and after this if you see the value present at current index is lesser than the value present at the previous index so here is the else condition where we reset the value of this variable length variable to 1 and if you see then in this case the max length will remain same so it is 3 then again we move to next index and the value present at this index is 7 and which is greater than the value present at previous index so its value is updated to 2 but the max length we already have uh, the value assigned here is 3 which is greater than 2 so the value will not change here and after the complete uh, iteration 
we return the max length which is 3. So the time complexity of this approach is O n and this, uh, this space complexity is O1 and here if you see uh, the first condition if the array is empty so simply return 0 and here I have declared two variable length and max length and initialize with one. Why one? Because if you see in, in, in an array, the least we can expect is this sub array of length one. So that's why I have assigned initialize with the value one. Now let's move to the main method and in main method, I have declared this array and I am calling this method. So if you see in this array, the, the maximum length of the sub array is this one, one, two, three, four, five. So it is five. And if I run this code, you can see the output, which is five. So that's it for this video tutorial and for more such programming video you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video